Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call us right now for more help at 866-945-8070. Progress invoicing in QuickBooks Online. It's finally here. It's actually been here for about a month now as of the time I'm recording this. Of course, it could be years later by the time you're watching it, but check the date of the publishing of this video wherever you happen to be watching it, and you'll have the right context for what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, kidding aside, progress invoice is something we've wanted, a lot of us have wanted for a really long time in QuickBooks Online, especially if you're a contractor. Contractors are probably the most common use case for people who need to make use of progress invoicing, right? Because we send out estimates and then we want to bill it out in pieces, right? Maybe we bill 10% up front and then 50% a certain portion of the way in and so on, or we're using percentage of completion, whatever it is. Contractors, definitely probably the most significant use case for progress invoicing. There are other examples in use cases though. E-commerce businesses may want this, especially if you're shipping sort of high value, low volume type items where you are going to get a specific request and you're going to want to create an estimate around that and then you might be shipping the product out in pieces, right? So another good use case for progress invoicing. The cost side of tracking this is not available yet. So far, it's just the revenue side. So you're going to go into QuickBooks Online, create an estimate, and then you're going to be able to bill that estimate out in pieces. And there's three choices for how you're going to do that. You're either going to bill the whole thing or a percentage of the thing across the board. So if you chose 25%, it'll just take 25% of every line item on that estimate. Or you can do it line by line, which is the third choice. And that's probably the one most of us are going to want to use most often because that lets you get specific. There may be a line item on the estimate that includes some kind of upfront consulting fee, right? So you want to do 100% of that line, but none of the rest, right? So that third option is going to be the one we're going to use most often. So let's take a look. I'll show you what this all looks like. Okay, let's take a look at how to create progress invoices in QuickBooks Online, how to do progress invoicing in QuickBooks Online. If you come over to my site at nerdenterprises.com, hover over over any of the menus under resources, go to links, you'll find this link here for the QuickBooks Online test drive, which will launch the QuickBooks Online test drive. Funny how that works. If we want to create a progress invoice, the first thing we need to do is create an estimate. So let's go to sales and we'll go to our customer list. Okay, and we're going to pick on Amy's Bird Sanctuary. Let's go in there and we'll go to new transaction estimate. Okay, and we're going to, in, we're going to do an estimate for several things, right? First of all, uh, we'll need a biller for the design, right? So let's say we're going to bill her just a flat 1500 for that. Right, and then we're gonna bill her for the weekly gardening service, which is uh, 150. And then we're gonna bill her for installation, which is gonna be uh, 800. All right, and then what else? We're gonna do some lighting for the garden, right? And that's gonna be 1200, right? So we're billing this all, you know, kind of flat rates. All right, and then we're going to click Save and Send or Save and Close, right? We send the uh, estimate to Amy's Bird Sanctuary. Amy gives a call back, and she says, yeah, it's great. Let's go ahead and do it, right? Now, before you, if you haven't done this yet, and you've created the estimate, before you create your first invoice, make sure you go into the settings. You have to actually turn on Progress Invoicing. So we're in Sales. Progress Invoicing has its own category. Check that off to turn it on and click save. Now that that's done, I can go into the estimate and click create invoice. And now it asks me, do I want to do the total of everything? Do I want to do a percentage? I can do 25% or 10% of each line. But this is what I think most of us are going to want to use most of the time right here, where it says custom amount for each line. This way I can be specific because what I may very well want to do in a case like this is I want to bill her for all of the design, right? So when I click on that line, it's going to ask me, do I want to do it based on an amount or a percent? And over here of the total 1500, I want to do the whole thing, right? But I'm not going to do the weekly gardening service and I'm not going to do installation yet, but maybe I'm going to bill her for the lighting, the whole 1200 so I can go out and get the lights, right? And so I'm only doing 2700 out of the original total. So now I'm going to hit save and send. 
right, of course, it wants to send it to birds at Intuit. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I wonder if somebody's actually getting that email over at Intuit. Probably not. Um, and now that's done. So now I've got the estimate for 3650. I've got an invoice for 2700. And if I go into here and I want to do another invoice, and I just do notice total of all, there's only $950 remaining. But again, if I do custom amount for each line, I can create the invoice. It doesn't even include the other lines because they've already been billed out entirely. Right, so it's only giving me what remains, right? And so I can uh, put this in here and I can say, all right, give me this, uh, let's do the weekly now. Save and send, send and close. And now all that remains is the weekly uh, guarding service that we put in there. So that, my friends, is how you do progress billing, billing in QuickBooks Online. Very easy to do, not complicated at all, not rocket science. You just saw the whole process. Of course, if you've got any questions, ask them by posting your comments wherever you happen to be watching this. If you're on YouTube, also always check the description for a link over to the blog where I usually have a write-up, not usually, always. And you often will get even more information. You might even get a chuckle or two out of something I've written. So uh, come on over to the blog. Look at the content there. The video will be there too. So you can watch the video, read the write-up, and get the whole thing in one place. That, my friends, is everything I have for you for now on progress invoicing in QuickBooks Online. As always, I hope you enjoyed this, learned something, had some fun along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. And I look forward to seeing you on the web.